Undisputed Wrestling and OPW Omega Pro Wrestling fans. It is I, Danny Jackpot, here after a long hiatus here for the season one ender of Undisputed Wrestling, a joint show between Undisputed Wrestling, OPW, old enough to know better, still too young to care, big show. That we've all been anxiously waiting for in the CAW world as you have the team of Nate Farron, Tyler King, and Biff Andreas from Undisputed Wrestling taking on the team of El Diablos, Akuma Santos, and TJ Nicholson. The season one ender of Undisputed Wrestling here. About to start a big joint show with a Great promotion, OPW, as Nate Farron makes his way down to the ring to start off the season one under of Undisputed Wrestling. Nate Farron making his way down to the ring. And while he does, I'd like to take a moment to apologize here. Not Danny Jackpot, the character, but Danny as a person for the hiatus that we have been on. I'd like to apologize to Joe Omega. I'd like to apologize to the great wrestling promotion of OPW for making this show go on hiatus for taking a long time. It's been eight months in the making, and it is solely my fault why the show has not been up. I won't lie to all you people out there that have been waiting for this. Is Nate Farron in the ring, excited for this action. He can't hear what I'm saying, but he knows what's going on. We're about to take on OPW in a long-awaited show. Six-man elimination tag. Team Undisputed Wrestling versus Team OPW. What a way to start. This joint show is Tyler King makes his way down to the ring. Tyler King, who made his return to CAW just in the last year, has been hot and on fire. He's a former North American champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. He's a former live champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. He has his eyes set on the heavyweight championship belt as Tyler King makes his way down to the ring here in OPW. You Undisputed Wrestling's Big joint show, old enough to know better, still too young to care. We are here live on Disputed Wrestling. OPW action. Exciting here. It's been a long time since I've been able to talk to you fans. I've been on hiatus for a long time. As again, I apologize for that. As Biff Andreas makes his way down to the ring... Representing OPW's industry while coming out and for Undisputed Wrestling. Don't forget, this was recorded a while ago. So you might see some things that are not in date. We won't lie. This is live commentary, but this is not live the show. This was recorded a long time ago as the show has been put on hiatus. You can see the ladies man victims list as Biff Andreas was running that and OPW, but he's representing Undisputed Wrestling, ties to both organizations Biff Andreas has deep in his roots. As you see, Tyler King, Biff Andreas, Nate Farron ready to defend Undisputed Wrestling as a man that I know very well makes his way down to the ring. When North American Elite Wrestling was around, TJ Nicholson competed in the very first ever match, defeating Biff Andreas. He'd go on to become the very first ever North, I mean United States Tag Team Champion in North American Elite Wrestling as part of the crusade. TJ Nicholson, an OPW representative, OPW proud and loud here tonight. TJ Nicholson, the captain of the six-man tag team matchup for Team OPW. In this big elimination matchup, TJ Nicholson, this man bleeds OPW. He has been around for over a decade for this organization. He has also created his own organization, the Thunder Grapple Wrestling Association, TGA. TJ Nicholson. Fans absolutely adores adoring this CAW legend right now. Biff Andreas, Nate Farron have been in the ring with TJ Nicholson many times. I don't know if Tyler King has. That will be an interesting one-on-one -on -one matchup when these two lock up. 
as a six-man tag team match. A huge match to start the show. Team OPW's TJ Nicholson awaits his teammates. As I, Danny Jackpot, will compete against Joe Omega in the main event. Let me go down the card once again for all of you wondering what is happening here tonight. As El Diablos makes his way down to the ring, we also have Lisa Wells taking on Kabuki. Kabuki representing OP Undisputed Wrestling. Lisa Wells representing OPW. In another singles match, we got Chantel Queen representing Undisputed Wrestling taking on Akira Khan. The ladies having some great matches here tonight. We're going to have Bullet Butch of OPW taking on Shane Corson here in Undisputed Wrestling. That's been a big tag team rivalry that's been waiting to take place for years. Let me tell you, years, and I'm excited for that one. Dion versus Vincent Nicolo. That's going to be a big matchup. Dion being representative of OPW and Vincent Nicolo being represented by Undisputed Wrestling Cage. Undisputed Wrestling's Cage taking on John Depp, an OPW legend, an OPW icon in John Depp. Egyptico taking on the... Crossbreed tag team of Connor James and Auss Aussie Andy. Egyptico, Egyptico, Amir Barnes, and Silver Prince going to be representing Undisputed Wrestling as Connor James and Aussie Andy, the mishmash tag team of rivals, going to be teaming up for the very first ever time representing OPW in a crazy tag team match. I can guarantee that's going to be all that here tonight as El Diablos. About to make his way down to the ring. Akuma Santos just made his way down to the ring. I believe I accidentally said the wrong name earlier. If I didn't, I'm great, great for me. I might be a little rusty. As El Diablos makes his way down to the ring. Akuma Santos made his way down to the ring before that. I don't want to misrepresent names as I'm trying to read a a, the booking sheet here tonight. <laughs> Again, a little rusty. I am sorry, everybody. It has been a while. El Diablos representing Team OPW along with Akuma Santos and TJ Nicholson. This big six-man tag team match about to take underway. And oh my god, the pyro just scared the shit out of me. Damn. El Diablos is not a man I would want to be in the ring with. Nate Farron. TJ Nicholson going to be starting off this big tag team matchup here. The bell has rung. Six-man tag team matchup underway. The team of Nate Farron, Biff Andreas, Tyler King representing Team Undisputed Wrestling. Taking on the team of El Diablos, Akuma Santos, and Captain TJ Nicholson. Biff Andreas, the captain of Team Undisputed Wrestling, actually put this team together himself. Hand-selected the team of Team Undisputed Wrestling. Three great athletes. The, what, what Undisputed Wrestling is all about right here, honestly, is Tyler King, Biff Andreas, and Nate Farron. As Biff Andreas, the key team captain, going to be going one-on-one -on -one with TJ Nicholson, the team captain here. We're going to have captains fighting off. And as I say, was represents... Undisputed Wrestling. Let me tell you what that represents Team OPW right here. TJ Nicholson, Akuma Santos, El Diablos. That represents Team OPW. You want to see some OPW, OPW representatives. That's three big, giant OPW representatives. TJ Nicholson gets back in the ring. I didn't even acknowledge the count up because I knew TJ Nicholson was going to get back in the ring. A legend like that doesn't stay out of the ring for long. Biff Andreas trying to capitalize here, but TJ Nicholson reverses. TJ Nicholson, huge DDT into a cutter. Very smart. Shades of Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy. They're like a twist of fate. Tags in Akuma Santos. Akuma Santos now. A legitimate tough guy. Let me tell you, Akuma Santos competed in MMA before. One of the bigger men in OPW. Biff Andreas catches him with a DDT though. Biff Andreas, not, very familiar with Akuma Santos. TJ Nicholson and El Diablos has competed in OPW for a while. And don't forget, OPW is just one of many branches in Team OPW. Many of these superstars you're seeing compete come from all, all sorts of leagues that make up the Omega Pro Wrestling Circuit. No, Omega Pro Wrestling Network. Circuit of Wrestling. All kinds of... The, the Circuit of Wrestling is around the world, I'm trying to say. Akuma Santos. T Nate Farron. This would be a fun one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big boot by Nate Farron taking down Akuma Santos. As Nate Farron tags in Tyler King, two men 
that I can see being tag team champions one day. Their friendship's very well. TJ, as Tyler, Tyler King goes to the top rope. And El Diablo is trying to stop him, but Akuma Santos eats the elbow there. TJ Nicholson getting the tag. As I said, I would be excited to see these two men get into action as TJ Nicholson springboards nails Tyler King. TJ Nicholson also competed for leagues of new and AW for a while. He competed in North American Elite Wrestling for a while before he branched off on his own path. No harsh feelings from Undisputed Wrestling or any management here. They only wish the best for TJ Nicholson. But tonight we have to wish for a loss for TJ Nicholson as they take on Team Undisputed Wrestling. Tyler King has TJ Nicholson in a bad way here. And oh my God, this guillotine choke TJ Nicholson in a bad way. But Tyler King only had a five count to break that. Luckily for Nicholson, King now. Irish whipping Nicholson out of the ring. Six-man tag team action. And it has been fun here tonight. Nate Ferry and the legal men now going after TJ Nicholson on the outside of the ring. TJ reversing whatever Nate Farron had planned, though. Nasty thoughts in Nate Farron's head. The genuine ass kicker, he calls himself Nate Farron. Going back to that moniker. As Connor James. I mean, TJ Nicholson, I'm sorry. TJ Nicholson gets slammed down. I'm sorry, looking at the back. Rusty commentary got Connor on the mind. Connor's gonna like to hear that. The saving grace of CAW as he competes later tonight. Oh my god, is TJ Nicholson gonna get Nate Farron counted out here? Nate Farron. TJ Nicholson refusing to take a count out victory. I told you TJ Nicholson's a legend, and that's the reason why. Wants to win this match for Team OPW Fair and Square. Wants to put Team OPW up on the drawing board here tonight. OPW is an organization. Big move by Akuma Santos. Shays Kenta with a go to sleep. Nate Farron in a bad way, but Tyler King breaks it up for Nate Farron. No knowing if not knowing if Nate Farron was going to kick out of that. We'll never know now as Akuma Santos now drives Tyler King down. Akuma Santos dominating right now. Team OPW definitely has the advantage right now against Team Undisputed Wrestling. A big shot takes down Farron. Farron back up to his feet though, trying to fight back. Farron trying to drag Akuma Santos to the corner of Undisputed Wrestling. Tyler King down, but Biff Andreas there gets the tag. Farron and Andreas going to work together now. And a big back body drop by both men. Double back body drop taking Akuma Santos down. Akuma Santos, though, taking down Fair and trying to fight back here. Nate Biff Andreas, though, the legal man. Akuma Santos might have got lost in all this action. It does happen. I've been in the ring. I know it happens. As Biff Andreas now with this huge maneuver trying to make... Akuma Santos tap, but El Diablos breaks it up. But Biff Andreas immediately going for the cover. Akuma Santos, though, kicks out at one. Santos, a big man. Going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. I can guarantee you that. Tyler King back up, gets the, gets the tag. Tyler King, as I mentioned, a former North American champion in Undisputed Wrestling. Biff Andreas, a former Undisputed champion in OPW and <laughs> Undisputed Wrestling. Big Russian leg sweep by Tyler King. Takes down Santos. But El Diablos once again breaks it up for his team. Referee keeping control of this match. You got to give the referee credit. Doing a great job here tonight. Akuma Santos. Going after the spine of Tyler King. Nasty here. Akuma Santos has been in the ring for a while. You got to give him credit. He's been fighting... Team Undisputed Wrestling, like the bull that he is. And he has been keeping it a fight this entire time. Big Northern Lights suplex by Akuma Santos, taking down King. And a big spinning roundhouse kick by Santos. Knocks out King. I think this is it for King. But Nate Farron breaks it up. Nate Farron's so tall. Luckily, at 6'9", that extra couple inches might have been able to save Tyler King there. 
is how King has enough time to recover. Fight back. Luthez press and now bringing the fight to Akuma Santos. Tyler King brawling Santos right down. Akuma Santos, though. Some big elbows. A big shot. Akuma Santos now dra dra dragging Tyler King by the hair. Bust him open, I believe, on the turnbuckle with that shot. And now tags in TJ Nicholson. Even drives the head of Tyler King into TJ Nicholson's boot right there. Team OPW working well here. TJ Nicholson knows he has Tyler King in a bad way. Tyler King getting up, but how smart of TJ Nicholson right there. He makes Tyler King exert the energy to get up and then drives him down with a German suplex. TJ Nicholson getting so smart since the first time I've seen this man compete. But Tyler King, though, looking to crown TJ Nicholson out of nowhere. Crowns TJ Nicholson with that huge maneuver. Biff Andreas trying to guard the cover, but TJ Nicholson kicks out after being crowned. Got to give Nicholson credit there. No man wants to be the first one to lose here tonight on this huge, giant show. As Tyler King now. Big DDT drives Tyler. Or actually, I think that was a suplex. I'm sorry. Suplexed him down. Referee was referee was in the view of the camera angle there. I thought it was a DDT, but it looks like, by the way, TJ Nicholson's holding his back. that He got suplexed there, I believe. Biff Andreas fighting TJ Nicholson down. Now, working on the arm. We've seen Biff Andreas use like a Ring of Saturn-like maneuver earlier. So, going for the arm is very smart here. Biff Andreas says you want some El Diablos, get in the ring. And El Diablos makes the tag and throws Biff right down. El Diablos now, much bigger than Biff Andreas. Gorilla presses Biff and just slams him down. The former Undisputed Champion of Undisputed Wrestling, though, goes for going for the win of the future. And El Diablos and nails it out of nowhere. Biff Andreas. And he pins El Diablos. He called his shot. TJ Nicholson getting in the ring. Undisputed Wrestling getting the very first cover here tonight as TJ Nicholson maybe going firm. Oh, some kind of Death Valley driver, but he is. Hangman's Biff Andreas right over the top rope. That was devastating. And now a ring of Saturn of his own. But wait a second, Biff Andreas? No! TJ Nicholson has it on with a shoulder up. I thought Biff Andreas tried to reverse there. I think he did, but TJ Nicholson out, out countered Biff. Almost had the cover there. Deep two count by TJ Nicholson here in this opening contest, this six man tag team matchup. As TJ Nicholson now, Irish whipping Biff, but Biff Andreas, big forearm, but. Re rebound clothesline by TJ Nicholson knocks out Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas is out cold right now, I believe. And now TJ Nicholson going for a huge powerbomb on Tyler King. Oh my god, he's gonna Tyler King on the outside of the ring. TJ Nicholson has been on fire here tonight. He wants Andreas up. Tyler King is down. TJ Nicholson going for his finishing maneuver, but Biff Andreas reverses. TJ Nicholson was going for that huge maneuver, but Biff Andreas reversed. Biff Andreas now suplexing TJ Nicholson. Tyler King recovered somehow after that huge powerbomb. I do not know how. Team OPW at a huge disadvantage right now. Headbutt by Nate Ferrer and the genuine ass kicker. Genuinely kicking ass with a huge diving elbow drop. Shades of Andrew Martin test with that heat seeking elbow drop by Nate Farron. Akuma Santos broke it up though. That might have been it for TJ Nicholson. Having a six foot nine man drive his force down onto you from that height. Damn. Biff Andreas now getting the tag. The team captains once again fighting here. TJ Nicholson is down. Biff Andreas picking up TJ. And wrestling 101 right there, taking him down. TJ Nicholson. Not in a good way here against Team Undisputed Wrestling, the captain of Team OPW, Nate Farron. What's he got planned? 
Nate Farron. Huge shot to the kidney. Another huge shot to the kidney. Using the ropes. TJ Nicholson has nowhere to go. Catching a, catching a kick, though, of Nate Farron. Huge dragon screw. Gets a tag in there, Kuma Santos. The two big men in this matchup. Nate Farron. Oh, my God. Nate Farron. He immediately, immediately did not let Akuma Santos even get in the ring. Nails the pump kick, the bicycle kick. His finishing maneuver. Nate Farron now drags him into, into Team Honest Peter Wrestling's corner. But TJ Nicholson breaks it up. Took a little too long there. Akuma Santos, groggy. Oh, and, and Nate Farron, though, taking advantage of his grogginess, going for his signature three. No, he goes for two butterfly lock suplexes and then a butterfly lock DDT. Very smart. Never know what Nate Farron's going to throw. Biff Andreas now going for the cover. After that huge butterfly lock DDT, but again, TJ Nicholson able to break it up there. Nate Farron... Sends TJ Nicholson to the outside of the ring. Biff Andreas, the team captain, believes he has something going here. Akuma Santos is down. Tyler King gets the tag. Very smart tags by the team of Undisputed Wrestling. Akuma Santos, though, reverses the kick. Another kick by Akuma Santos now. Akuma Santos, Gord Buster, shades of Arn Anderson right there. Akuma Santos going to the top rope. We see Nate Farron dive. Why not Akuma Santos? Big elbow drop from the top. And this has been a great tag team matchup as Akuma Santos now. Pile drives Tyler King. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. Tyler King is going to need help here. That pile driver. Nate Farron getting in the ring. And he just breaks it up in time. I told you Tyler King probably was not going to get out of that pile driver. I seen how expertly Akuma Santos nailed it. Tyler King now trying to fight back here against Akuma Santos. Big uppercut, but Akuma Santos still standing. What's it going to take to knock this big man down? Another big uppercut. A third big uppercut by Tyler King. He doesn't know what to do. Tyler King dragging him by the mohawk. Over to the corner of Undisputed Wrestling, but Akuma Santos fighting back. Again, what is it, what's it going to take to keep this big man down? As an Undisputed Wrestling roster member, I'm wondering what it's going to take. Tyler King in the corner of OPW now, not the corner he wants to be in. This great six-man tag team matchup. Biff Andreas eliminated El Diablos with a... Way with a future earlier. Now trying to eliminate Akuma Santos. And he eliminates him. Tyler King actually knocked Akuma Santos out with that blow. TJ Nicholson tried fighting it off. But Nate Farron was able to break it off. TJ Nicholson trying to fight back here in a three-on-one situation. Throws Nate Farron over the top rope. Reverses team captain Biff Andreas. Once again, the team captain's fighting here. TJ Nicholson going for a submission here. Biff Andreas trying to reverse, but TJ Nicholson has that submission applied expertly well. And TJ Nicholson at three on one fighting for his life here. But Tyler King right there trying to go for a quick cover on Biff. Team OPW in a bad way. TJ Nicholson in a bad way. Fighting for his life against Undisputed Wrestling. You got to give this man heart here. A lot of heart being shown. Referee. Needs to get some control here. As you can see, TJ Nicholson is fighting for his life. TJ Nicholson is just fighting here. He has both members of Tyler King. Oh, and a judo hip toss by Biff Andreas. Stops TJ Nicholson in his tracks. Big Fujiwara armbar by TJ Nicholson in the ropes. He has Tyler King and Nate Farron down. He just needs to somehow get Andreas down for a cover. Andreas trying to make sure that doesn't happen, though. This huge headlock, slowing it down. Biff Andreas, the veteran of CAW. So many World Heavyweight Championships behind Biff Andreas from IWT, the new WWE, new NAW, Undisputed Wrestling, OPW. Biff Andreas, a multi-time world champion. And, oh, he just drives TJ Nicholson down with a wheelbarrow face buster. 
Biff Andreas now. Team Undisputed Wrestling getting the tag here. Nate Farron going for the choke slam after a double team. This is going to be it for TJ Nicholson, I believe. Nate Farron's finishing choke slam, driving TJ Nicholson to hell. And now, Nicholson, there is still fight in Team OPW. There is still fight in TJ Nicholson. TJ Nicholson doing whatever he has to do to try to get an advantage here. Zigzag by Nicholson. And he's fighting. TJ Nicholson in this great six-man tag team elimination matchup is fighting for his life here. All respect to TJ Nicholson. Very smartly going after the arms of Nate Farron. The submission applied by Tyler King breaks it up. Again, TJ Nicholson fighting the odds here, but can he do it? Can Team OPW overcome the odds? Nate Farron down for the cover, and Nate Farron kicks out at two. TJ Nicholson needed that cover. TJ Nicholson now. Huge lariat taking down Nate Farron. Nate Farron is groggy here. He's trying to get up to his feet. TJ Nicholson wants this. TJ Nicholson going for the vertebraker. No, he's not. He's going for a huge finishing maneuver by TJ Nicholson. I thought he was going for the vertebraker, but Nate Farron's foot under the rope. Can you believe it? The tall, lengthy Nate Farron. He might have just caught the biggest break there. He might be down and out. Nate Barry now with a well-placed elbow. Trying to crush the dreams of Nate of Team OPW. Trying to stop TJ Nicholson. Going for snake eyes. Nails it. A big punch to the head. Nate Farron with a knockout shot. He might have just won this matchup for his team. Nate Farron after the huge knockout shot. And that is it. You can see the fight that Team OPW threw out here tonight. But it wasn't enough for Team Undisputed Wrestling. Nate Farron bloodied. I mean, Tyler King bloodied, bloodied as Nate Farron celebrates. The captain, Biff Andreas, celebrates. Nate Farron, Tyler King, Biff Andreas, victorious here tonight at Old Enough to Know Better. Still too young to care. We have to move on, though, from that huge six-man tag team match. I don't want to take anything away from El Diablos, Akuma Santos, and TJ Nicholson. They fought their hard outs here tonight. But we have to move on. Day on from OPW, Vincent Nicolo, a former undisputed champion and undisputed res wrestling representing Undisputed Wrestling here tonight. Here tonight, Undisputed Wrestling has took the first match from OPW. Day on, can't be too happy about that. Nicolo looking to capitalize on that. Yeah, it does smell like cat. Yeah, that's what I'm drinking. As we are in Leeds, England tonight. OPW's home turf as OPW's day on makes his way down to the ring for the singles matchup against Vincent Nicolo, representing his brand of OPW here. Look at this beast known as Dayon. Wait a second. Vincent Nicolo behind Dayon here. Vincent Nicolo not waiting to fight. Fighting dirty here. Vincent Nicolo attacking Dayon from behind. I can't say I agree with this, 
But Vincent Acalo doing what he needs to do to get an advantage. He has shown that he will do what it takes in Undisputed Wrestling to get the advantage. This man does not care. He will do what it takes a former Undisputed Champion. Day on, though, fighting back. Again, I can't say I agree with what Vincent Nicolo did, but as an Undisputed Wrestling representative here tonight, I have to say I definitely agree with it. I might not like it, but I agree with it. Do what you have to take to get the advantage, but this is actually working against Nicolo here as day on now, making him eat this ringside barricade. Now throwing him in the ring, actually, this might have worked against Vincent Nicolo as day on is on fire. The bell rings. This match is official. Dayon attacking Vincent Nicolo, and after that big six-man tag team matchup, looks like we're going to get some more exciting action right away. No ring entrances between these two men. Dayon now just fighting Nicolo, a former undisputed champion in undisputed wrestling, and he eats the boot. Dayon takes off his ring gear here, going after Vincent Nicolo. Big Irish whip. This beast of a man. Oh, he misses the, the, the clothesline. Vincent Nicolo ducks under it. Tries to hit him with a clothesline of his own now. And Vincent Nicolo hits two big clothesline, but not enough to knock down Dayon. The uh, third one does it. Has Dayon in the corner. Kind of crushed him there. Vincent Nicolo now has a one of the most winning records in Undisputed Wrestling, Vincent Nicolo does. Won the Undisputed Championship. Big snapmare. Now a big double axe handle. Vincent Nicolo has Dayon in a bad way. This is the first time I think all match he has Dayon in a bad way. Misses a kick though. Dayon now holds on to the ropes. Coming back now. A couple big shots to Vincent Nicolo. And then a big spinning elbow. Just east now. Nicolo just gets nailed right in the temple there. And now a gorilla press slam by Day on on to Vincent Nicolo, who's no small man, weighs in at 275, 280 on a good day. Day on now. What's he got planned for Nicolo? As a superplex hits Nicolo right there. That could be it for Nicolo as Dayon only gets two OPW down one. That would have been big for Dayon to get that win. Another match that's happening tonight. Chantel Queen versus Akira Khan. These two ladies have been feuding forever now. I can't wait to see those two go at it. As Dayon now nails that huge electric chair backbreaker on Vincent Nicolo. One of his signature maneuvers and only gets a two count on Nicolo. This match has been mostly Dayon, even though Nicolo jumped Dayon to try to get an advantage. It did not work. Nicolo now, though, going for this package powerbomb. Nails it, even with a spin. Trying to pin Dayon here. Nails his package powerbomb, and that was a pretty big package. That was only a two count. Nicolo thought he had the match won there. Could be going for a signature stunner. Nicolo gold going for a pop-up power bomb. Showing the strength of Nicolo. A package power bomb into a pop-up power bomb. And Dayon kicks out at two. Nicolo thought he had the match won there. Nicolo now going to the top rope. What's he got planned for Dayon? Big splash nails all of it. And you can see the air just knocked out a day on there. That's got to be it. Nicole has this match won. But no, only two. Dayon kicks out once again. Nicole can't believe it. And going for a shot, but Dayon reverses. A huge forearm now. Nicole's down. Dayon wants him up. This could be it. Dayon can be looking for his finish. He might do my hit. What a huge headbutt! The battering ram of day on it, and Nicolo's knocked out. OPW gets on the 
boards here tonight with a huge win as Vincent Nicolo knocked out by the battering ram, the huge running headbutt of Dayon. As Nicolo tried to get an upper advantage here, but it wasn't enough for the former undisputed champion. Dayon picks up a huge victory over Vincent Nicolo. As another match about to take place, Kabuki representing Undisputed Wrestling taking on Lisa Wells. As we continue on with this huge joint event between Undisputed Wrestling and OPW, Kabuki about to make her way down to the ring to take on Lisa Wells. Kabuki, which means a warrior in Japanese. This lady believes that she is a warrior. Embracing her Japanese heritage, Kabuki of Japanese descent. One of the greatest Japanese female talents that we have here to competing tonight, but not the only one. Akira Khan, also of Japanese women's descent. We also have great Japanese wrestlers here tonight. International flavor. Always competing when you always in OPW, always in undisputed wrestling. I can tell you that. I guess why you got. That's why I love both organizations. They go. To, they go out and find some of the best talents, talents that nobody has, talents that you only see in leagues like OPW or undisputed wrestling. Some of the best CAW leagues out there today. The colorful Kabuki. And I gotta say, I. Even though she's a threat, she is also fun to look at when she has the, the blue, the pink, the green, the mohawk kabuki. And I think she uses that to get in her opponent's head as Lisa Wells makes her way down to the ring. She is the crown of the Emperor at the time of the recording of this event. Don't forget, this, had, this was recorded eight months ago, so things could be not relevant anymore. I will be the first one to admit that. Again, I apologize to Joe Omega. I apologize to OPW. I apologize to the fans for that being, for being so behind here. Things happen in real life. But this is the season one conclusion of Undisputed Wrestling. A joint show. A huge show for OPW. An event they have been waiting months and months for. Lisa Wells. She is going to be a tough opponent for Kabuki. Let me tell you that. Lisa Wells, very well known. And her, and her competing organization that she is in, representing OPW here tonight against Kabuki. As these two ladies are about to take the ring, the bell has rung. The spotlight is on, ladies, as Kabuki trying to get the upper hand over Lisa Wells to start this matchup does so. Big kick to the back of Kabuki. As the ladies get the spotlight here for the first time tonight, but won't be the last time. Big shot by Lisa Wells, takes down Kabuki in the corner and now just stomping away. Lisa Wells can fight as well as she can wrestle, let me tell you that. 
Lisa Wells, technically sound. You see that? She was able to reverse Kabuki's drop kick. Very smart. Backed away from it. Was able to telegraph it. And now she has the advantage here. Keeping the advantage on Kabuki. Kabuki trying to swat her arm away, but she's in a bad way right now. Trying to fight out of a corner. Lisa Wells has her in the corner. And what's Lisa Wells got planned here? Going for a cover. She believes she has Kabuki done. And only getting a two count there. That was a hard shot by Lisa Wells. I just, she's a hard hitter. I guess I didn't see how hard of a shot that was. But that took Kabuki down for a good two count. Lisa Wells now. Going to the ropes here. Going to the top rope. What she got planned? Go oh, Kabuki smartly. Smartly rolls out of the way. Kabuki could have went the other way there and got jumped on, but she didn't. Very smart. Goes for a face buster. Nails it on Lisa Wells. Kabuki now. Manhattan drop. Holds on to the legs. And oh, now attacking the rib section with a like two feet right there. Just dropping them on the rib section. Going for some kind of kick, but Kabuki once again gets caught. Lisa Wells nails the kick or, or catches the kick and nails the clothesline. Oh, interesting offense here. Lisa Wells catches Kabuki, but Kabuki able to spin out of it. Nails a Hurricane Rana. These two ladies' styles have matched very well here tonight. Both these ladies know how to counter each other very well. Lisa Wells with a dragon screw catches the kick. Kicks have not been good for Kabuki here tonight against Lisa Wells. Let me tell you that. Lisa Wells now. What she got planned? Going for some kind of maneuver. But gets reversed. Lisa Wells now. Big chop. Nails that elbow to Kabuki's head temple. Nails the second elbow to Kabuki's temple. Kabuki now. Two, three, four shots to Lisa Wells. Fighting out of that corner very well. Nails a jawbreaker. And that mohawk to the face can't feel too well either. Let me tell you that. That could poke out an eye. Kabuki now getting some offense going her way. Kabuki. Standing Asai DDT, Shades of the Ultimo Dragon. And only gets a two count. Lisa Wells kicks out there. I thought that might have been it. A nice signature move of Kabuki. Didn't finish the match off, but Kabuki now going to the top rope. Diving Senton, that's gonna be it. And the Japanese bomb from the top rope wins the match for Kabuki. That diving Senton, Kabuki knocks off Lisa Wells, undisputed wrestling, now going up 2 1. A big win for Kabuki over Lisa Wells. Undisputed Wrestling moves on with OPW's legend, a OPW veteran, John Depp, taking on a CAW veteran, Eric Cage. As we move on, an undisputed wrestling OPW's joint event. Old enough to know better, still too young to care. John Depp making his way down to the ring, representing OPW here tonight. 
a legend of OPW, a veteran of OPW. John Depp has competed there for so many years. At the time of this recording, he was the intergalactic champion. Like I said, I don't want to remind everybody that belts and stuff probably are outdated at this point. I absolutely apologize for that. I can't do anything about that. That's just my fault. That's my fault for just being on a hiatus. I apologize to the fans. I apologize to Team OPW. I apologize to Joe Omega once again. But John Depp making his way down to the ring for this interesting matchup with Cage, Eric Cage. As Undisputed Wrestling is up 2-1 right now against OPW. John Depp in the ring awaiting his opponent, Eric Cage. A man at the time of this recording was considered the OPW South Island's Southern Islands champion by Undisputed Wrestling because he knocked off Biff Andreas for the championship. But OPW did not want to recognize that reign. Undisputed Wrestling did recognize that reign at the time of this recording that Eric Cage was the OPW Southern Islands champion. OP Eric Cage has, some, has a vendetta against OPW believing that they have targeted him not acknowledging the OPW Southern Islands Championship reign that Eric Cage should have. Eric Cage in the ring taunting. John Depp gets in the ring calling out Eric Cage. No, John Depp does not get in the ring. Eric Cage, John Depp, again, as I mentioned, there was some controversy over the Southern Islands Championship at the time. John Depp probably reminding Eric Cage, OPW doesn't recognize you as champion. I'm the only champion of OPW in this ring. Eric Cage, John Depp, I would love to be a fly on the wall in that ring to see what these two men are talking about. But the match is underway. Eric Cage, John Depp fighting. Cage getting the upper hand here. These two men brawling to start off the opening contest. Cage with a big boot to the face of John Depp. Both these men still trying to knock each other down. Cage with some shots to John Depp. Got more shots than Depp did. And then finally takes him down with a huge spine buster. Eric Cage taking off his chest. Taking, taking off some of that entrance gear that he had on, I believe. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I guess I was wrong. I guess he was not doing that. <laughs> All right. Camera just cut off for no reason. As Eric Cage now choking John Depp here. Big event, this big joint show. Eric Cage having a lot to prove against OPW. Again, he believes that he is the Southern Islands Championship. He believes that he should be the Southern Islands Champion. He defeated Biff Andreas for that championship on an episode of Undisputed Wrestling. OPW says that match was not sanctioned by them. Undisputed Wrestling begs to differ. As Eric Cage with a big... Close line to John Depp, and this match has been Eric Cage so far. You got to give Eric Cage credit. Eric Cage now could be looking for the choke slam here. Could be looking up, looking to finish John Depp early. If he finishes John Depp this quickly, I would be shocked, honestly. Eric Cage, wait a second, not looking for the choke slam. Instead, changes his mind, going for the cage bomb, nails it, the cage bomb, and that's it. I, I believe John Depp could be down and out here. This match might have been all Eric Cage. And John Depp kicks out. I thought this match was all Eric Cage. John Depp kicks out. He's still in a bad way. Cage now. As Undisputed Wrestling is up 2-1. Going for a choke slam, I believe. But John Depp reverses. John Depp now with a big kick. I think Cage was going for that choke slam. But Depp was able to reverse. Depp now. Out of the ring. And he wants Eric Cage to fight him on the outside of the ring. John Depp. 
Wait a second. John Depp. He's yelling at the fans here. Eric Cage does not want to fight Depp on the outside of the ring. Cage smartly been fighting his match here. Cage is the much taller man. And Depp now knocks him down with a big kick. Big shot to the mid cage now. And a shining wizard by John Depp takes down Eric Cage out of nowhere. A signature maneuver by John Depp and Cage is hit with a two count. Eric Cage been fighting a smart match. You got to give him credit here. John Depp going to the top rope. Depp now. Oh my God. What a maneuver by John Depp turning himself inside out for a huge plancha. Like a inverted shooting star press by John Depp, his finishing maneuver. Depp down. Eric Cage, though, wait a second. John, he nails the Cage choke slam. That's going to be it. He doesn't just nail one choke slam, he nails the Cage kick. The cage choke slam into the cage kick. I believe Depp is down and out after that. Depp hit Cage with his best maneuver, but no! Depp, very resilient against Eric Cage. Eric Cage in shock. I seen his mouth open. Jaw dropped. Eric Cage can't believe it. There's a reason why John Depp is the intergalactic champion, though. As Eric Cage. Has Depp in a bad way. Huge clothesline on Depp. Hard hitting match here between these two athletes. Another big clothesline by Eric Cage. A boot now by Cage. Not a Cage kick, but a big boot. Eric Cage could be looking for the end here. He wants Depp up. Going for the choke slam once again, but Depp once again catches the hand, reverses. Big shot. Johnny, J John Depp. Don't want to call him Johnny Depp. You all might confuse him with somebody else. <laughs> John Depp going for a big plunge up. A cage rolls out of the way. Cage, the veteran, the crafty veteran. These two have been around call for a long time now. These men don't have the respect that they deserve, I think, in CAW. And I think that's a big part of this matchup, why these men were chosen for this matchup. To represent Undisputed Wrestling, to represent Team OPW. Oh, and the miss by John Depp out of nowhere. Kane was not seeing that coming, and neither did I. Referee on the outside of the ring. He's yelling at Depp, but there's nothing he can really do. As he continues to count, all the referee can do is... And say something to, to, to Depp about it. Tombstone on the outside of the ring. After, after misting Cage, after a Tombstone on the outside of the ring, I think Cage is done. Throws Cage back in the ring. Depp now wins this match with a little bit of assist of the green mist. The referee, he could have disqualified Depp, but he didn't. I think he was in the middle of counting out. It put him in a bad situation. John Depp, very smart, defeats Cage here tonight. And Depp proud of himself, but I don't know if the fans are too happy with that one. Cage was a fighting machine here tonight, but he wasn't too, he was what he just couldn't overcome John Depp's green mist and that tombstone on the outside of the ring. Cage was down. As here we go, a match that I have been looking forward to. Chantel Queen. Akira Khan. These two ladies have been in the ring with each other. These two ladies have attacked each other. These two ladies have made it known that it is more than brand recognition now. It is about getting to be the better lady between these two athletes. Chantel Queen, who's loud and proud and always ready to wrestle. Akira Khan, who's one of the most devastating women wrestlers in all of CAW. Chantel Queen. Akira Khan. A Haas fight in the women division. I don't know what the female version of a Haas is, but that's what you're getting here tonight.
Here we go for some more women's action here at Old Enough to Know Better. Still too young to care. The OPW representative in this matchup, Akira Khan, coming out for this OPW Undisputed Wrestling joint show. Akira Khan, a multi-time champion in CAW. One of the most devastating women's wrestlers to ever come out of Japan. A very scary woman. She has a vendetta on her mind against Chantel Queen here tonight. I can guarantee you that. These two ladies have been feuding with each other for a while now. They have been going at it tooth and nail. Let me tell you that. Chantel Queen believes that she's not just representing Undisputed Wrestling, but she's representing all the women here in the division. And she's here to have a good time. We haven't seen Chantel Queen have a good time in months, and she's letting us all know that she hasn't forgotten how to have a good time. She says a good time would be defeating Akira Khan here tonight. And I think she is just having a great time tonight. Akira Khan. This is the exact opposite of the woman that she is. Chantel Queen, Akira Khan, such polar opposites of the spectrum when it comes to women's wrestling. I'm excited for this matchup. Let me tell you, Chantel Queen and Akira Khan, two ladies who I have a lot of respect for, two ladies who have been wanting to get it on for a very long time, finally getting the chance to do so here. These two ladies have gone out of their way to attack each other when when, they're, when they weren't even scheduled to be in the same uh, building that night. People have flown in just to attack the other lady again. This is one of the most heated rivalries I could have possibly anticipate for tonight. And it's finally happening. The bell has rung. And I am so excited for this great women's matchup. Akira Khan just tossing Chantel Queen. The power of Akira Khan on display. Let me tell you, we've seen it before. We've seen it here. Akira Khan, no, no, not afraid to show the dominant force that she is. And she is just overpowering Chantel Queen in the opening parts of this contest. And you would never guess a woman like Chantel Queen would be overpowered. But here it is. And Chantel Queen isn't even the most powerful of ladies. She admits that she uses a, a, her athleticism. You've seen how she came down to the ring. But right now, Akira Khan is just woman handling. Chantel Queen, impressive, impressive strength here. Akira Khan, again, a killer when it comes to the women's division, any women's division when in CAW. Chantel Queen finally reversing now. Chantel Queen missing an elbow. Akira Khan, one step ahead of Chantel Queen. Akira Khan came in all, all business tonight. Chantel Queen loves to have a good time. Maybe, she, maybe that dancing. Maybe, maybe she took her eyes off the ball for half a second. Maybe she forgot who she was in the ring with. Akira Khan reminding her tonight who she's in the ring with. Both these ladies, former women's champions in their organizations. Akira Khan. Oh, Chantel Queen reverses. A big move by Chantel Queen reversing that. Chantel Queen now. Trying to get these fans behind her. But turn around, Chantel. Akira Khan right behind you. German suplex. And that was nasty. And once again, Germans, I, I'm not a German, but the overpowering Chantel Queen, Akira Khan, cover. It's almost it, but no, Akira Khan only gets a two count. And look at Akira Khan just staying on Chantel Queen. Akira Khan now. As OPW and Undisputed Wrestling tied 2-2 here tonight. These German suplexes by Akira Khan onto Chantel Queen. Akira Khan looking for some kind of finishing maneuver, the Khan Bomb. But Chantel Queen reverses. That was a huge reversal for Chantel Queen. She now has. Akira Khan up for some kind of backbreaker, trying to stretch her out, but Akira Khan able to fight away here. Akira Khan now. 
Dawn, Chantel Queen showing some strength. Caught the arm, grappled her up, and Chantel Queen now showing some strength. Chantel Queen going for a cover on Akira Khan. Again, Chantel Queen believes she's representing not just herself, not just Undisputed Wrestling, not just fighting for herself, but fighting for the entire Undisputed Wrestling women's locker room. Akira Khan has assaulted other ladies in the women's locker room. Big leg drop by Chantel Queen, and you can see with a look on her face, she meant that with authority. Chantel Queen now. Wow. Stun gun over the top rope on Akira Khan. Chantel Queen using the ring very smartly here. A combination of strikes by Chantel Queen. But Akira Khan reversing whatever Chantel, Chantel Queen had planned there. Akira Khan now. Oh no, she gets reversed by Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen now. Been fighting an uphill battle almost as this match has started, but Chantel Queen now with a huge jackhammer onto Akira Khan. Chantel Queen stalling jackhammer there and almost gets a three count. Akira Khan didn't kick out. She just got her shoulder up. She didn't have the strength to completely kick out of that, but she had the strength to get her shoulder up. She is weakening. She is being weakened. Chantel Queen. Irish whip. Connor would want me to call that an American whip. So there we go, Connor. American whip. Another American whip. Chantel Queen. Sidewalk slam. Chantel Queen now. Match is going her way. Chantel Queen. Go! Oh, huge stacking power bomb. Chantel Queen doesn't get the win there. A combination of a choke slam and a and a power bomb. Chantel Queen. The Queen bomb once again. Chantel Queen. It doesn't take one, but it takes two. And Chantel Queen defeats Akira Khan here tonight. Chantel Queen, who believes she was representing the women's division of undisputed wrestling, proudly does so with a huge win. Over Akira Khan here tonight. Chantel Queen couldn't be any more excited and neither could I. Tag team match continues and one of the oddest pairings of all time. Connor James and Austin Andy. Two men who have absolutely hated each other. Two men who probably still hate each other. Teaming up. Team OPW believes that they could defeat Egyptico, Amir Barnes, and Silver Prince here tonight. And that is who Team OPW chose. And that is what we will get. I'm excited for it. Let's fucking go. Team Undisputed Wrestling about to make their way down to the ring as it would be Silver Prince and Amir Barnes, the team of Egyptico. And here they are making their way down to the ring. Silver Prince on the left, Amir Barnes on the right. On the way to the ring. Egyptico makes their way down to the ring for this big tag team matchup. These two men are former undisputed wrestling tag team champions on two different occasions. I love to bring up the ITF and that's where these two men became a tag team originally. And that friendship has formed, has lasted this long. Now that Silver Prince and Amir Barnes are both top contenders. They make one of the most devastating tag teams in CAW history, Egyptico. Silver Prince again on the left, Amir Barnes on the right.
I look forward to seeing this tag team. Silver Prince and Amir Barnes taking on Connor James and uh, Aussie Andy. Two great talents who I have a lot of history with. Connor James making his way down to the ring, the diabolical one. The saving grace of CAW. And their opponents first from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 233 pounds. Connor James. One of my least favorite people in CAW, Connor James. This man is nothing but evil. Trust me, he's nothing but a bastard, a no good bastard. The paragon of CAW, he calls himself. I call him the diabolical one. I, he calls himself the saving grace. I call him a bastard. Not one good bone in the body of Connor James. This man is nothing but pure slime when it comes to doing anything in the CAW ring. He's a pure slime ball. As Aussie Andy makes his way down to the ring, they drink, they fight, they are the pub club. He represents them proud Tasmanian Tiger Mask. And Aussie Andy, Aussie Andy, a former NAEW North American champion. He's also a former live champion in XGWL, I believe. Uh, Aussie Andy, no stranger to CAW Gold. Representing OPW here with Connor James, something that I never thought I'd be seeing. Connor James, Aussie Andy, teaming up here tonight as they take on Silver Prince and Amir Barnes at Gyptico, one of the top tag teams in all of CAW. Again, OPW, they looked at all the people they could throw against Egyptico and they decided it wasn't going to be a tag team. It was going to be Connor James and Aussie Andy, two really great single CAW superstars. Connor James is recently the Blacklist CAW World Heavyweight Champion. I don't know if he still will be when the, this is released because of the time of recording and everything. Connor James reverses the suplex, nails the German on Silver Prince, and then a huge dragon sleeper with a waist lock applied, just a leg scissors applied to the waist. Very smart of Connor James, but Silver Prince technically sound, able to fight out of it. Silver Prince. With a, has Connor James in the corner. He's representing Silver King, a man who lost his life competing in a wrestling ring. Silver Prince says he's idolized Silver King growing up. One of the Mexican wrestling superstars, one of the luchadors that he grew up Loving. Connor James kicks out. Not even a one count. Connor James is a former North American champion in Undisputed Wrestling. He's a former live champion in Undisputed Wrestling. Connor James can get the job done. Again, as I mentioned, he's, a, he's a, currently the Blacklist CAW World Heavyweight Champion at the time of this recording. Won OPW Gold. Won the Brody Cup. Amir Barnes is bringing the fight to Connor James. Only gets a one count though. Amir Barnes now tagging in. Silver Prince, Egyptico making quick tags here against Connor James. Again, they are used to teaming up. They've been a better part of a tag team and friendship for eight years. Connor James and Austin Andy don't even like each other. And that's just the God honest truth. And that's where I think Undisputed Wrestling might have the advantage here. If Undisputed Wrestling can somehow win here tonight, or win this tag team match, if you're a difficult to somehow win tonight, that would give Undisputed Wrestling the numbers advantage. Silver Prince 
over reverse. I will say Aussie Andy and Connor James did make a clean tag. They were able to get along as Aussie Andy and Amir Barnes now fighting here in the ring with two legal men about to start fighting, as I should say. Grapple into a nice maneuver. Fireman's carry into the ropes. Just a hangman right there by Amir Barnes on Aussie Andy. It's always fun to be able to call an Aussie Andy match for me again. I haven't been able to call too many Aussie Andy matches lately. Aussie Andy. One of the funnest superstars to ever come out of Australia. I think he's better than that other one. Brent Harvardator, cough, cough. Ha ha! Brent Devlin, cough, cough. I think Aussie Andy's a better Australian superstar of the two. That's just my opinion. Aussie Andy. Australian whip. Connor James, you're over on the commentary booth, but I know you, Connor Woody would enjoy that. The Australian whip by Aussie Andy right there. Representing the pub club here, representing OPW is Aussie Andy. He has Amir Barnes down, going for the cover. Referee not in place, though. Amir Barnes doesn't even, doesn't even get a one count there. I, I kind of blame the referee for that one. He was not in the right place there. Did not help Aussie Andy at all right there, let me tell you that. As Aussie Andy, big chop to the chest, and then a DDT. Aussie Andy bringing the fight to Amir Barnes. And Amir Barnes is a devastating superstar, a former world heavyweight champion in New WWE and OPW. Amir Barnes also competes in OPW, let's not forget, but people have drawn battlegrounds, people have been drafted of where they will represent tonight. As Silver Prince with a nice just sit out power bomb nailed Connor James. Very smart. Amir Barnes is actually hurt on the outside of the ring. Silver Prince is going to have to fight at it alone here. Oh, a nice kick by Connor James is catching Silver Prince right under the chin and then a discus lariat. Connor James now has Silver Prince down and out. Amir Barnes is still on the outside of the ring. He could be seriously hurt. Connor James. Shades to Razor Ramon there with the sack of shit slam, that fall away slam. Last call, Bradshaw would call that, but Connor James and representing Bradshaw, let me tell you that. One count, Silver Prince kicks out, Amir Barnes finally back in the ring. And Connor James going right after Silver Prince, Amir Barnes. Silver Prince still capitalizes, Amir Barnes doing what he wanted to do, distracting Connor James. Nice fireman's carry into a snake eyes on the Connor James by Silver Prince in the corner there. Connor James with a big kick, catches Silver Prince, comes out of the corner there. And then a huge tilt of world fireman's carry into a neck breaker. Connor James now getting cocky. Silver Prince is groveling at the feet of Connor James, and Connor James loves it. Groveling at the feet of Connor James, and he goes for a cover. I think that I think he knew Silver Prince was gonna kick out. I think he's just trying to show some disrespect here. Trying to play some mind games now as Connor James. The diabolical one, the paragon of CAW. Two kicks in a midsection and a clothesline. Connor James is picking apart Silver Prince here. Oh, and a big soccer kick to the face! That was nasty! Feet on the ropes, Amir Barnes in the ring. So Connor James is looking to win the match there. A soccer kick to the face, and then using the ropes for, for leverage. Connor James playing dirty here. Egyptico now double teaming Amir Barnes. I'm, I'm, I'm double teaming, double teaming Connor James. Referee got Amir Barnes out of there. A suplex by Silver Prince into an arm bar. Connor James trying to fight out of it here, but a hammer lock with his feet. Silver Prince now with a combination of maneuvers on Connor James. He is tied up. He is tied up and ah! Trying to pull the arm out of the socket. Oh, Connor James over there, like kick to the temple of Silver Prince. And once again now, Connor James has Silver Prince groveling, and Connor James in cocky once again. Tagging in Aussie Andy. Aussie Andy must be okay with this. They know they're representing OPW here tonight. There's money at stakes. There's, there, there, there's jobs at stake. And uh, Aussie Bomb. The Aussie Bomb on Silver Prince by Aussie Andy. Drag Silver Prince away from the ropes. The Aussie Bomb. I think that's it. Silver Prince is down and out, but Amir Barnes breaks it up in the nick of time. Referee telling Amir Barnes he's got to get out of the ring. Amir Barnes trying to distract 
Ossie Andy, but Ossie Andy knows better than that. Again, a former Maple Leaf champion in North American League Wrestling is Ossie Andy. Soto Prince catches Connor James with a kick there. Connor James came in too hot. Amir Barnes now the legal participant in this matchup. Amir Barnes able to block one of the strikes of Connor James. Grabs him by the throat and just takes him down, picks him up and choke slams Connor James down. Amir Barnes with a cover on Connor James. Ossiani breaks it up. You got to give Ossiani and Connor James credit. They have been working well as a tag team here tonight. Even though they haven't been doing any tag team maneuvers together, they have at least been tagging in and out. And Ossiani's been saving Connor James when I guess necessary. Silver Prince and Ossiani fight on the outside of the ring as Connor James and Mir Bonnie fight on the inside of the ring. You can see Silver Prince now. Tombstone Paul driver on the outside of the ring as our oh, Ferris Chris! Ferris Chris and Connor James on the inside of the ring. Connor James is in desperate spot here. Connor James trying not to tap, but he taps out. That's Gyptico. It's too good of a tag team. Amir Barnes and Silver Prince win here tonight. Egyptico is too good of a tag team. Puts Undisputed Wrestling up. Here are your winners. One more. Silver Prince and Amir Barnes victorious here tonight. <coughs> Putting up Undisputed Wrestling 3 to 2. And that only leaves one final match, guys. I have to leave the commentary booth here for you. Because I have to leave the commentary booth. After this, we're going to have Bullet Butch Simpson, Shane Corson. One on one with each other, a rivalry that's been years in the making. OPW's Bullet Butch, Undisputed Wrestling's Shane Corson, a man who has gone to the dark side, says he speaks to God, thanks to Bullet Butch Simpson who put him in that coma years ago. Old enough to know better, still too young to care, continues with a blood match here, everybody. A rivalry that has been building up in the years, everyone. Bullet Butch Simpson, Shane Corson, two men who hate each other, and I mean hate each other. They are former new NAW Tag Team Champions, and that tag team lasted for a good while until... Final chapter, these two men lost the tag team matchup. And all of a sudden, Bullet Butch Simpson snapped. He took Shane Corson. He drove him right into the ring post. And then as Shane Corson lied there against the ring post, Bullet Butch came running in with a full force and just big booted Shane Corson's head. And Shane Corson's, the only place it had to go was the ring post the all all ring post and all foot for shane corson gave him a coma put him in like put him in a concussion that eventually turned into a coma that shane corson then eventually changed his ways apparently started speaking to god became this apostle he believes he's the final apostle of god shane corson has been waiting years for this moment, Bullet Butch Simpson, a man who's been making a name for himself in OPW, about to go one on one with a man that, that the monster that Shane Corson says that Bullet Butch has created, the final apostle, Shane Corson. I can tell you then, this match has nothing to do with OPW and Undisputed Wrestling. They don't care who they're representing here tonight. Bullet Butch Simpson and Shane Corson, this match has been years in the making. 
This is the first time they've ever had a chance to have this matchup. And they are having this match. When they were in New AW together, they were on separate brands. They never got a chance to have this matchup. Tonight, Shane Corson, Bullet Butch Simpson, the final apostle versus the Bullet here tonight. I will tell you guys, I am looking forward to this matchup. I have been watching these guys feud for a long time now, and I am looking forward to this match. The, these two guys are deserving of it. Shane Corson is very deserving of it, so I'm glad he's representing Team Undisputed Wrestling here tonight because he is very deserving of the situation that he has been in. I might not agree with him being the final apostle, and I might not agree with him being being spoke to by God. I don't know who's speaking to Shane Corson. Maybe it is God, and I don't want to question him or what's going on there but i do know that he is deserving this matchup the bell has rung bullet butch simpson shane corson and bullet butch says that he will put shane corson back in that coma here tonight again bullet butch is from opw shane corson is from undisputed wrestling but i don't think it has anything to do here with this matchup this is about blood this is about hatred this is about two men that have been waiting years to get their hands on each other Shane Corson going after the arm of Bullet Butch. Going to try to dissect the man. Bullet Butch the knee. Both these men have found themselves since their tag team. Both men have been great tag team superstars beyond just that. They found themselves as singles competitors. But don't forget Bullet Butch Simpson, a member of Catalink. Shane Corson had the Dark Carnival for a long time. He even feuded with Biff Andreas. As Bullet Butch Simpson now, again, he's, he promised to put Shane Corson back in that coma here tonight. Seems to be the head's the target of Bullet Butch. Went for a leg drop there. Big leg drop, by, or big suplex by Corson there. Again, these two men hate each other. They've been waiting a long time to have this match with each other. Shane Corson. Was going for some kind of maneuver there. Maybe a choke slam, but Bullet Butch was able to reverse. Bullet Butch Simpson now. Big clothesline. Bullet Butch Simpson now with some big punches right to the head of Shane Corson. Wants to concuss Shane, wants to put him back in that coma. Shane Corson has never been threatened like this before. Because it's a realistic thing that could happen to Shane Corson. There is. Everlasting issues that we've been told about Shane Corson that he has to be careful. That man competes in the ring because he still wants to, because God tells him to. There's been doctors that told Shane Corson that he shouldn't compete anymore. Nice maneuver by Corson gets a one count. And Shane Corson has his target set on Bullet Butch Simpson. Oh, and you can see just throwing everything at it. Shane Corson will throw his whole body at Bullet Butch. Does not care. Going for the choke slam. Nails it. Call from God. Only gets a two count. That call from God only getting a two. Shane Corson now going to the top rope. Could be going for the Apostle Splash. Nails it. Apostle Splash. Oh, but a rope break. Smart referee. Smart by Bullet Butch Simpson. Had his foot just right there to get under the rope. Apostle Splash. A move that Shane Corson has been using for years. Bullet Butch Simpson. Finally able to fight back here. Going after the head of Shane Corson. I told you that. That seems to be the target. Oh, my God. Now stomping away on the, on the midsection of... Shane Corson is Bullet Butch Simpson. Bullet Butch Simpson now. What's he got planned? Oh my god, the strength of Bullet Butch here. And just targeting the arm. The arm that he likes to use that call from God with that choke slam. Big maneuver by Bullet Butch catching Shane Corson right in the neck there. 
And that could be it. Bullet Butch could have had this match won, but Bullet Butch Simpson only got two. He's actually getting a little desperate here. Come on, tell him, referee, why not get a three? Bullet Butch Simpson. Shane Corson in a bad way here, the final apostle. Both get nailed with a huge bullet line. Bullet line by Bullet Butch Simpson, and Shane Corson is down and out. Shane Corson couldn't get the revenge that he wanted. Bullet Butch Simpson victorious here with a bullet line against Shane Corson, but he didn't do what he promised. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't knock out Shane Corson here tonight. As OPW gets a third win against Undisputed Wrestling, three three. Bullet Butch Simpson victorious over Shane Corson. Will that be the final match in the rivalry? Will Shane Corson finally let this die? As I have to leave the commentary booth, everyone, for our main event, I jump into the ring for the very first time as an Undisputed Wrestling roster member to take on Joe Omega, the organization leader of Omega Pro Wrestling. Thank you, everybody, and wish me luck. Sometimes as friends, sometimes as rivals. I like to think that even though these two men have talked a lot of mierda about each other lately, that these two men have a lot of respect for each other, and that's why this match is the main event of old enough to know better, still too young to care. But Maria Lopez, 
She cares. She cares very deeply for this matchup between Joe Omega and Danny on Jackpot. It is main event time here. And I am very excited for this main event. Danny Jackpot. Joe Omega. Let's up and go. As you can see, Danny Jackpot, Joe Omega, both trying to get the crowd on their side here tonight. It is Undisputed Wrestling. It is OPW at its finest. Danny Jackpot said bring it, and Joe Omega brought it. What a clothesline by Joe. Main event time. There's a 16-minute time limit if this match needs it. I was blessed to get the call from Undisputed Wrestling OPW to main event. This main event. They commentate this main event. Maria Lopez loves to see Danny Jackpot and Joe Omega in action. This isn't the first time I've called a match between these two men either. But I think that is why I was called here for this matchup. What if no? Joe Omega only gets two. I would have been heartbroken if Danny Jackpot would have been picked up by a small package. And that would have been it for this great main event. Danny Jackpot. Clotheslining Joe Omega after Joe Omega misses that diving top rope elbow drop. And a big edomatic by Joe Omega. Danny Jackpot with a DDT, not the cash out, but a DDT. Did not do the lifting DDT, which is a big cash out variation. But he just did a DDT, trying to get advantage over Joe Omega, a man who's an expert at the DDT. As Danny Jackpot now, with some chops, some punches. These two men know each other all oh, so well. These men have ch exchanged championship golds. I remember when the Crusade and the Bloodline used to battle in New and AW on the Western brand. Joe Omega now with the advantage over Danny Jackpot, the true savior of CAW. As Tyler King tried to call out Danny Jackpot for his very first ever match. Danny Jackpot accepted it, but he said Joe Omega had the first challenge. And Joe Omega will be who gets him first in Undisputed Wrestling. Joe Omega only gets a two count on Danny Jackpot in this great main event. Joe Omega has the advantage. Joe Omega with a huge clothesline. And that was huge. Taking down Danny Jackpot. Danny Jackpot, who doesn't compete as often as he does anymore, nails a, I guess nailed with a second big clothesline. Joe Omega, this match going his way. Joe Omega trying to tie it up here tonight. All right, I mean, Joe Omega trying to win it for OPW here tonight after Bullet Butch tied it up in that last match. In a great, great, great series of undisputed wrestling in OPW here tonight. Oh, and now stomping on the face of Danny Jackpot. Joe Omega going to the top rope. Joe Omega, no! Oh, he might have been going for his hammer of God, but Danny Jackpot smartly rolled out of the way. Danny Jackpot now one kick KO on Joe Omega. After that hammer of God reversal, Danny Jackpot... Only gets a two count with the one kick KO. The okay KO. Danny Jackpot now going to the top rope. What's he got planned here? Diving elbow drop by Danny Jackpot. Going for a cover now on Joe. Danny Jackpot. He only gets a two count. Joe Omega kicked out. Barely got his shoulder up. Danny Jackpot. Springboard elbow drop. Foot perfection, Danny Jackpot. Even though it's been 15 years now of Danny Jackpot, he still shows ways to be innovative with his career. Danny Jackpot now with a series of strikes. Joe Omega now eating these series of strikes. And on his eye, Julian Lopez 
commentating this big main event is Danny Jackpot clothesline Joe Omega down. Danny Jackpot going for the Irish whip. Danny Jackpot knocks Joe Omega down. Goes for the plancha and nails it. This match going Danny's way now. Danny going for a strike, but no! Joe Omega counters! Joe Omega now! Oh my god! Double on the hook, power driver! On the outside of the ring, double on the hook, face buster! Julio Lopez can't believe it! Danny Jackpot's in a bad way! Joe Omega tosses him back in the ring! I don't think this is gonna be. No, oh, it isn't! Oh no! I didn't think that would be it because Danny Jackpot's a fighter, but Joe Omega thought it was, but Danny Jackpot barely got his shoulder up. Joe Omega, with that huge move on the outside of the ring, just gave the icon a little too much time to capitalize, to recover. Joe Omega, though, with that huge soccer kick in the corner, he has a cover that's very well could be it. But Danny Jackpot gets the shoulder up. Joe Omega getting a little tired of what he's seeing here. Getting a little frustrated. Joe Omega. Big German suplex. Taking Danny Jackpot to suplex today. Only get the two count. What will it take for Joe Omega to win this matchup? Joe Omega now the couple shots, but Danny Jackpot fighting back. Danny Jackpot. Oh, but Joe Omega now fighting back. A series of strikes. What man will get the advantage? It seems to be Joe after an Irish whip. Both these men with another series of reversals. And Joe Omega ends up turning Danny Jackpot inside out with a huge clothesline. Joe Omega thought he had it. Not arguing with the referee this time now. Joe Omega... As some fans are chanting OPW here. Joe Omega has Danny Jackpot in a bad way. Joe Omega with another running kick right to the corner. Danny Jackpot could be knocked out. And a rebound clothesline. Joe Omega. No, Julio Lopez. Thought that was going to be a huge move by Joe and Danny Jackpot now getting the better of Joe. That situation turning Joe inside out. Danny Jackpot trying to get some crowd support. These two men know each other so well. Been competing for years. Like I said, there's a big respect between Joe Omega and Danny Jackpot. Danny Jackpot has called so many Joe Omega matches. Joe Omega has called Danny Jackpot matches in the past. These two men know each other on so many definitions of the past. They know each other in the present. And I guarantee you these two men will know each other in the future. These two pats can't seem to stop crossing. Joe Omega. What's he got planned for Danny Jackpot? Oh my god. Shades of Bret Hart. Oh, Joe Omega's head might have just whacked off the, off the cement right there. But that was a huge figure four referee forcing the, the break there. Joe Omega. A beautiful figure four using the ring post as assistance. That's why he only had a five count there. Joe Omega now. Big stomp to the back of the neck of the head area of Danny Jackpot. Joe Omega has this match going all his way right now. And a huge kick to the head of Danny Jackpot on the outside of the ring. Joe Omega. This is going to be it for the second time. His finishing maneuver. This time, a capitalizing right away. Joe Omega's finishing maneuver. Oh, no, he's going for a third one on the inside of the ring. He learned his lesson from the last time Danny kicked out, but Danny somehow reverses a drop kick. How is Danny Jackpot doing this? Danny Jackpot, one kick KO. Danny Jackpot now. Wait a second. He doesn't think that's it. After the one kick KO, he nails the cash out. The 
cash out. Joel Maida just far enough away from the ropes, but Joel Maida kicks out. Are you kidding me? At a zero count, Joel Maida just kicked out. Fans are in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. Jackpot nails another cash out in disbelief. Going for it now. After a zero count, this time Joe's down and Joe kicks out at two. Danny Jackpot can't believe it. What will it take in this match? Danny Jackpot going for it. No, Joe Omega reverses. Joe Omega now. Irish whip. Danny Jackpot going for a clothesline. But Joe Omega reverses and that turns Danny Jackpot off for the second time here in this match. Joe Omega now. Huge British bomb by Joe Omega. And now Jackpot kicks out. Are you kidding me? What a match. This is awesome. This is awesome. I have to agree with the fans. What a matchup these two men are giving us. These two legends. These two icons of CAW. Danny Jackpot now targeting the legs of Joe Omega. Danny Jackpot now with this the Indian Deathlock applied. Danny Jackpot loves old school wrestling. That does not surprise me with that Indian Deathlock applied. Shades of Harley Race and other greats. Danny Jackpot gets reversed now after a couple strikes. Joe Omega now the series of strikes. Clotheslining Danny Jackpot down. Joe Omega now has the advantage here. Joe Omega. What's he got planned? Joe Omega telling Jackpot to get up. Joe Omega trying to take his head off. And he does so. Joe Omega takes his head off. One wasn't enough for Joe though. Joe Omega wants to do it a second time. Joe Omega. With a huge German. Goes behind Danny and Germans. Again, making it so hard to counter Joe Omega when you don't know what he's going to do. The veteran Joe Omega. But Danny Jackpot, it will reverse a kick. That's exactly why Joe was. That's exactly why Joe was trying to, 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 to make his offense so weird. Danny Jackpot with another plunge to the top for the top of the last time Danny did that. That did not go good for Jackpot. He ain't one of Joe's finishers right on the outside of the ring. Danny Jackpot, though, seems to have this match going his way. Danny Jackpot with the tribute to Ron! The tribute to Ron, his fallen deceased brother! Danny Jackpot pulling out all the stops here tonight! Danny Jackpot! High roller! High roller by Danny Jackpot! It's like a Danny Jackpot nostalgia act here! Danny Jackpot doing whatever he can! Any finisher he has! Danny Jackpot breaking them all out! After a high roller, Danny Jackpot going to the top rope! Diving elbow drop by Danny Jackpot and Joe Omega on the inside of the ring! What's Danny got planned? Another diving elbow drop by Danny Jackpot. He's not going to go for one. He's not going to go for two. And he's going to go for the trifecta, the hat trick. Danny Jackpot believes he has Joe Omega down and out, but Joe Omega kicks out at two. What is it going to take? Joe Omega still has some fight left in him. Joe Omega. Danny Jackpot reversing Joe. Joe reversing Danny. Danny reversing Joe. Danny with a series of punches. But Joe now with a punch of his own. And Joe nails that double. Axe handle to the face. The hammer of God. But Joe Omega only gets two on the hammer of God. Joe Omega now. Joe Omega. Going to the top rope. Joe Omega. Oh my god. She could be going for the super. The super banana. Oh my god. Avalanche in style. Danny Jackpot is down. 
Danny Jackpot is out. Joe Omega with a huge clothesline. I'm surprised he didn't go for the cover. I think Joe Omega, he wants to go for one more. Is this crazy? Joe Omega's going for a second one. Not one, but two. Joe Omega, he's got a second one. Danny Jackpot is down and out. It's over. The Avalanche. It's over. Joe Omega knows it. Danny Jackpot. It's a foregone conclusion. Joe Omega has the what? Jackpot kicked out. Jackpot kicked out. How? With all the heart, Danny Jackpot somehow just kicked out here. I thought that was it. Joe Omega is now frustrated as all hell. He can't believe it. Danny Jackpot though with a boot to the midsection. Danny Jackpot. He's going to return the favor to Joe. Are you kidding me? Danny Jackpot going to the top rope. Going to return the favor. Standing Hurricane Rana. Are you kidding me? An avalanche Hurricane Rana. Danny Jackpot with a Harley race knee. Danny Jackpot. He's saying this is it. New school and old school into a cash out. Danny Jackpot. He's saying it's not over. A second cash out by Jackpot. Danny Jackpot's not done. Joe Omega can't even get up to his feet. But Danny Jackpot, I think he's looking for it. Danny Jackpot now after two cash outs. He's going for a third one. A super cash out by Jackpot. Are you kidding me? Avalanche Jackpot by Jackpot. Avalanche cash out by Danny Jackpot. Danny Jackpot wins. Undisputed wrestling wins here tonight. Danny Jackpot with the super cash out. Knocks off Joe Omega. Danny Jackpot's victorious. Goodbye, everybody.